Jeff Hurst in possession. Across to Bobby Charlton. Another great goal. What a fantastic life I had playing football. I was lucky I played for a long time for a big club, Man United. Hey, The best club in the world. When I first became a footballer, when I was 15 and I played at a on a frozen pitch in the in the winter. In January, it was frozen, it was like concrete. And as I was finishing the game, a little man came over and he said, uh, I'm uh, the chief scout at Manchester United. Bobby, how would you like to come and play for us in the summer? What do you think I said? Yes. Absolutely, yeah. I, yes straight away. What was it like to win the World Cup? Well, what do you think? What do you think? You know what I can do? After the World Cup, I said to him, I said to my brother, our lives will never be the same again, ever, because we have been the best in the world. And I, and I says, it's just the most fantastic thing. And I said, forever and ever, people will remember. And we won it because we had a good team. When we won the World Cup, you could say, I'm the best. And nobody can argue with you, can they? Really, Saturday. What's happening today? We're playing Liverpool. Oh, boy. And you get to the ground and you, you pull in and everybody's cheering and everybody wants to see you. And then you go on to the, into the dressing room and all your kit's there. And then the coach tells you what he wants you to do, how he wants you to play. And then you go down the steps and the crowd... It, it just explodes with noise. Now, who would like to have that happen to them? being a footballer, exactly, exactly. And if you want to be anything like a footballer, a really good footballer, you have to listen, you have to concentrate on what's being said by your coach, and then you go out and practise. And if you practise, you could be like the best player in the world. Rooney practised and Ronaldo practises. Pele, you heard of Pele? Yeah. yeah. Hey, he practised. He practised how to kick with his right foot, with his left foot, how, how to control the ball. How many, how many different ways can you control the ball? About five. About five different ways, no, that's right. One of them, one of them is your chest. Yeah, hey? your thigh. The other one's your thigh. Head. Head. Feet, yeah, feet. Chest. The top of your foot. The top of your foot, yeah. And, Every part. And the bottom of your foot. And then you've got control, and then what do you do? You look for one of your pals to pass to, because this is a team game. I love seeing teams, especially schoolboy teams, that pass the ball. And who knows, you might be lucky enough to be a footballer. Got any questions for me? Um, out of all the players in the world today, who would you compare yourself to the most? Hmm. I think Paul Scholes. I like passing, you see, and he's a great passer of the ball, Paul Scholes, isn't he? And he likes shooting as well, and when he shoots, you never give the ball away. That's the secret of football. Don't give, don't give the ball away. Your birthday is three days after mine. Is it? How do you know that? How did you know that? It says on here. That's amazing. Oh, it's got it on there. <laughs> Without cheating, how many goals did you score? Uh, was it 200 or 300? Two. Hmm? 200. And about 235 or something. 249. Yeah, no, but I'm not counting the foot FA Cup. It doesn't matter how many goals you score, really, is it? Does it? About how you play. Hey? About how you play. Taking penalties. It is nice though, isn't it? But where United finished, not on your life. Bobby Charlton made it 4-1. Charlton headed it home. As we get older, our immune system can weaken, which can leave us feeling run down. Drinking Actimel every day is scientifically proven to help support your immune system as part of your body's defences. And you can continue to enjoy the things you love. Actimel. Help support your body's defences.